All right, locally voting turnout rates are a big topic in this year's election. Uh, Michael Vu said he expects somewhere like 60%. So let's let's invite John Neenstead, president and CEO for Competitive Edge Research. Nice to have you here. Great to be here. Yeah, just by, by way of, of uh, clarity and transparency, you're also the mayor's pollster. So yep. you work uh, in, hand in hand with Kevin Faulkner. Let's talk about what you think the voter turnout will be. Michael Vu says 60%. What say yeah, you? It won't get there. Um, I think if the county gets to about 50%, we're probably right in line with what uh, the, the prediction should be. Um, city, probably a little bit more like 46%. I noticed today that um, Field is uh, predicting a statewide turnout of about 45, 44%. So we should be in that sort of range. How do you get to this number? You look at early returns mm -hmm. of the ballots oh, okay. in which we get those. And um, of course, we don't know who voted, but we can know uh, whether they voted. Mm -hmm. And uh, those uh, early ba ballots kind of dictate where the election is going. Are they segmented like uh, East County, North County, South County? Can you tell where, sure. more, where mo most of the activity is happening? Absolutely. That's how I know the city will be around that 45 percent, 46, 47 percent uh, range because it's broken up by jurisdiction. Okay. So how do most people get their information of how they should vote? Is it these crazy TV commercials or the newspaper or how? Well, there's a lot of different ways. And so when we do tracking polling, which we currently are doing, mm -hmm. we'll lo we're looking at all those various ways that they get messages. We think it in terms of, of, of it in terms of messages, uh, voter mm -hmm. messages. So um, at the top, you'll be happy to hear, is the news. Uh, TV news, radio news, a little bit of internet news, but it's a lot of TV news. It carries a lot of weight. So for example, 40 percent of the pop of the electorate gets their messages from TV news or some other sorts of news like that newspapers about 15 to 20 percent um, and they're on down and then TV ads uh, as they get started TV ads take up more of that message space but um, TV news is huge I'm glad to hear that but that does conflict with what some of the people who follow Bernie Sanders with the Millennials those young people are very much tied to their mobile phones uh, is that becoming a component now that's important it's a small component um, yeah internet accounts for probably uh, five to ten percent that includes the ads internet ads as well as internet news so it's not all TV news but um, there's a little bit of an internet component but you know TV news kind of migrates to the internet, and there's kind of this cross pollination. Yeah, we're so. using them. So, uh, whether that messaging it doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean negative or positive, it's just messaging. Right, right, exactly. In the mayor's case, um, I'd say 95% of it is positive. So let's talk a little bit about the the voters that the uh, the Trumps. Some are suggesting he's having some trouble with, and that would be the Hispanic or Latino voters. How do you see that? Oh, I agree. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've seen a huge amount of registration that is highly Democratic over mm -hmm. the last three or four months, um, and a lot of those are Latinos coming into the process. I think he's energized Latinos in, frankly, the wrong way for him because they've uh, turned out uh, or at, registered in a, on to the opposite party. So I think, uh, yeah, there has been that effect, and uh, we'll see how it plays out in November, but currently there's been a, a big kind of upswell amongst Latinos in their registration. How do you see the the, uh, the mayor's race shaking out? The, the, he, uh, mayor Faulkner needs 50 plus one. Uh, he's got two yeah. opponents. How's that shaking out as far as you can see? Well, I think the team, the Faulkner team, would be happy with, uh, satisfied with anything 50 percent plus one. I think the data that I'm looking at, the data that I have, indicates it'll be a beat down. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right. So uh, th that's those are the numbers. Those are the hardcore numbers. Uh, the question is whether or not all of you, the pollsters and the people who, who count this, will be wrong because it seems like the electorate is very energized. This is this has been quite a campaign. It's an interesting campaign from all sorts of aspects, and it's a big presidential race. So. Michael, who could be wrong also that it may be higher than 60%. Have you ever seen it go that high? No, and I don't think it will. <laughs> you don't think it will? No, I think it'll be it's a lot It's good to have that. an expert here instead of a newscaster trying to, <laughs> to hyperbole it. Okay, thanks so much. Nice to have you here. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, we continue.